evening. So, hello. I'm Karen and this is Romeo. So, tonight we're having our date night. So, normally we do this weekly, hopefully. Um, but, right now kasi ano, in our journey as a single wife, um, we've been through a lot. We've been married for 21 years. But today, we wanna share to you some of the things na we feel na kailangan maintindihan mo yan. Nowadays, because uh, in this world today, we have a lot of troubles, a lot of issues in the family, and so tonight we want to share you one of our uh, one of the things that we uh, want to understand as husband and wife. So, this one, the first one, the verse tonight is in Colossians 3, verse 18 and 19. So it says here. In verse 18, wives, submit yourselves to your husband as is fitting in the Lord. So, yan, yan. So, yan, yung husband. So, um, in terms of submission, tani, am I able to uh, meet your standards in, in terms of submitting to you? Standards? Uh, Wala naman kasi gusto. Although, yes, no? Yung pagsasubmit na mo bilang wife, want to me, ang nararamdaman ko naman yun. So, I appreciate yung vision niya ang love, especially when you resign sa work, para mag-focus sa akin at saka sa mga bata. Sa big, ano na yun, move para sa iyo. Masyado ko, sobra ko na-appreciate yun. Andun ka na sa... Ano, uh, andun ka na sa right track. Kung ano yung pinigay ko sa iyo. Uh, uh, as for me, in return, as the Lord says na as bad you love your wife, uh, and do not be harsh with them. So, sometimes yes, uh, aminado naman ako, sometimes I uh, get harsh uh, sa iyo, pero ngayon, uh, as a uh, work in progress naman ako, so, uh, little by little, um, uh, hindi kasi ko yung vocal na tao. Yung love ko is sometimes hindi ko lang tama o mali para sa sa'yo. Kasi uh, yung love ko kasi is ako yung mga uh, doing it silent. In my own ways, gusto ko lang ipakita how much I love you. And it's up to you. Sometimes you, you will appreciate it or what. Kasi yun yung way ko to show na uh, hindi ako sa pa-vocal na tao kung you say I love you and you do this then ayun pinakikita ko lang kung ano yung sa tingin ko tama yung um, toro din sa akin yun eh siguro um, walang lang din ako siguro sa pag-ibig vocal and I hope na ayun uh, na-appreciate mo yung uh, ano pa, gestures. Sig siguro what happened hindi is ano, hindi ko kasi, kasi yan yung sabi mo, di ba? Parang uh, hindi ka masyadong vocal, pero alam mo naman na mahal ako, mahal mo naman ako, ganyan. Pero ako, ang hindi ko kasi sa'yo dati is that uh, you tell me na mahal mo ako. Yung verbally sinasabi mo, may assurance ako na mahal mo talaga. Siguro yung isa yun sa mga reason kung bakit uh, parang minsan hindi ko hindi ko na-appreciate yung mga actions mo kasi mas more on gusto ko na rin yun. So nagkakaroon ng misunderstanding. So yun, isa sa mga tips sa inyo is that um, when kung gusto mo, kung gusto nyo as a... Communication. Ayun, tama, tama. Yung pala yung tama yung tayo. Yung communicate kung ano yung gusto nyo kasi nangyari sa amin, hindi namin masyadong pinag-unicate ko ang expectation ko. So, ang naging ano ko, angry ako for a while, parang pinig hindi ako love na ako, yung ganyan. So, pero, ayun, sa, narinigin naman, sabi niya, ano, as much as he can, and uh, I know, 
talaga yung full effort niya to be with me. It's ano, ando naman. So, pero hindi ko lang talaga siya uh, masyadong na-appreciate. Uh, Kasi it's more on, um, it's more on, um, yun lang, nandila ko sa, kasama ko lang siya sa bahay, ganyan, and then, uh, hindi niya masyado sinasabi, or hindi niya ako masyadong nakakausap. So, to, tonight, yun yung agreement na, oh, hindi lang tonight, yun yung siguro, a month ago, we started discussing many things. So, God has opened us an opportunity, opened an opportunity for us na pag-usapan yung mga issues, ganyan. So, it will, this will be a long journey for us. But, yun nga, we need kami to do things for the sake of our family. So, we want to share that for the glory of God. For the glory of God, yes. yes. Um, pero nga, ito, may question ako. Kasi part ng pag-ingin sa misin sa husband is ano, um, to be respectful. So, in terms of being respectful, am I respectful to you? <laughs> Kasi ba before, uh, mm -hmm. uh, hindi naman sa lahat ng pagkakataon na kikin respect. Because masyadong malalim yung meaning ng respect mo ngayon. Eh. Mm -hmm. uh, Daming parameters yun. Eh. Mm -hmm. Minsan, yun ang uh, bagay na gusto akong gawin, na ayaw mo, na ayaw kong gawin, gusto mong gawin. Doon, magpapal sometimes yung pagiging disrespectful mo yeah. sa towers, doon sa partners. Mm -hmm. So, kaya hindi naman na ako doon nakatingin sa pagiging. Uh, as a husband, I focus na lang din sa kung ano yung talaga gusto ni Lord pa sa akin. Sa sacrificial na hindi mo na hindi mo na dapat consider kung ano yung expectations mo sa partner sa'yo. Expectation ko sa'yo. Just do the right thing sa tingin mo makakapag-notify ng Lord. Kasi pag na-glorify mo si Lord, it will follow na yun. Nagawa mo yung hold mo sa akin yung wife ko. Siguro, yun yung bagay na makapagpapatigay sa isang relasyon talaga. Communicating to each other and yun yan. Putting God sa the center for relationship. kapag nasa gitna mo si Lord para try and ganyan magkaiwalay kayo magkaiwalay kayo na naman magkasama nasa gitna si Lord habang pumapalik kayo papalapit sa kanya magkakadikit magkakalapit din kayo magkasama kahit magkalayo kayo kayo nasa dalawang kin nasa gitna dito si Lord nasa gitna niyo when you go up, you go to Lord, you go to the Lord, you go to the Lord, you go to the Lord. Together with the Lord. That's what we have to do. We have to realize that when we start knowing God more in our lives, and how Lord works in our lives. That's it. Yeah, siguro, ano, yeah, I agree. Kasi, um, nung time na hindi pa si Lord yung center na marriage namin, medyo marami talaga kami issues to the So, eventually, when we came to Christ, um, of course, hindi naman siya overnight na mababago, mababago pa. It, it took us a lot of, um, it took a lot of time talaga for us to develop our character. So, Yeah, marami struggles, marami trials, di ba? Marami. Well, that trials are opportunities to change your character, and God is giving us a lot. So yun yung maganda siyo with staying together in the marriage. Because with the generation today na we need God in our marriage, just like a lot of people na has been giving up in the marriage. So what what I can what we can guarantee is that when you give God yung opportunity to run your life. Kung ka siya yung in-control sa mga yun. 
mas magiging mas madali, bearable ang buhay. And eventually, you know, um, things will catch up, eh, di ba? So, maraming um, yung mga arguments nyo nyo, mga disagreements nyo, and then yung mga expectations nyo, isa sa um, pinupuno yan ni Lord eventually. So, yun na yun yung naging magandang na resort in our relationship. So, one of the good results that we have na bigay ni Lord because uh, we have good communication every day is this, yung date night. Kaya, ginagawa namin ito ni Lord to document our date night. Para to share to you our journey together as husband and wife. Kasi, it's not easy. Diba? It's, not, it's never easy. Diba? Diba? Kasi, when God eh, uh, pag binigay ni Lord yung husband, yung spouse mo, sa inyo, lifetime partner mo na yan. So, kailangan talaga ayusin kung may pag-asama nyo. Kung makina yung mga anak nyo, di ba? Pag nag-asawa na rin sila, kayo na yung may iwan ulit. Together. Hanggang sa tumanda kayo. So, it's better to have that ano, relationship. Build your relationship. Di ba? Sabihin na parang, wala na. Wala na. Ikaw na akong parting word. Thank you, guys. So, yun lang. So, yun lang ang amin. For tonight, date night with Romeo and Karen. <laughs> so there will be more. There will be more soon. Uh, praise God for, uh, for a chance to share our joy. See you next time.